Finally ready to get things going. Let's head down to the field and get game number one of this long-awaited matchup underway. Selly gonna send this ball downfield. Chilton's gonna be able to pick that one up out of the corner. Tries to get the second touch. PB gets demoed, so just Chilton on defense. Way to just maintain possession, keep that one out of danger. Selly goes for the aerial, almost gets that through. A little bit of miscommunication. Shelton dives on in. PV was setting up to be able to make a play on it. Shelton off the corner, good pass into the mid. Good touch by Selly to clear it off the other way. So Rob Lazen. Try and push that one to the middle. Both players coming out, therefore the Muffman to try and make a play on it, but it doesn't really do much. There comes Chilton, gets a good second touch. It's gonna be a long one off to the corner, but Selly able to give it a little bit extra help. Nobody downfield as he beats both defenders. Selly shot right into the center of the net, and that is gonna be the first goal on the board, taking advantage of a little bit of aggressive defense there from the Muffman. Keep blinders get the first goal within the first minute. So after seeing that first minute play, who do you guys think is going to take this series? I know it's not much to go off of. What are your predictions? It's a high stakes match. I mean, this is looking for a top seed in the playoffs. Both teams 3-0. So a win here, increasing to 4-0. Not many teams 4-0 at this point. So it really can give yourself a top seed in this eight team playoff. Couple opportunities there, both sides. Selly could toss up, he's gonna follow. Can't get that one through. Chilton, big commit from Rob Blazin, leaves the net wide open. Chilton says, don't mind if I do. And is gonna tie it up here as we get to a minute and a half off the clock. Way to challenge the ball, taking advantage of the overcommit from the second man. Leads to a quick turnaround. And just like that, we're one apiece. Ball into the corner off the kickoff. Sully sends it back to the mid. A little bit of risky play, and he gets punished for it. TV going to jump on that one in not even 10 seconds off the clock, and we've got another score on the board. So now a 2-1 lead here for the Muffin men. And is that a little push for momentum? Are we going to start to see Muffin men get this offense rolling? Pop up. Pop up there as PV goes up for it. Selly gets into the air, he makes that save right around the crossbar. Selly pops this one up. Rob Blazing tries to go very aggressive again from Rob Blazing, trying to go for another one very ambitiously. Cheeky Blinders making some really bold plays when it comes to transition. Rob Blazing gonna pop that one off the back wall. Selly should be able to have an opportunity, but actually he backs off. Good move there. I think he was on it. Good redirect, trying to go for the dunk, and it's not gonna happen there for Selly. Chilton clears it off out of danger. Big pop, PV in the air, gets the redirect shot into the corner, but it's not gonna be on target, just barely hits the post. Rob Blazin tries to go for the block, not gonna get that Chilton shot, and then again, the aggressive push comes back to bite the cheeky blinders. And just like that, three nothing swing for the Muffin Men. So just about half time here. Three one lead from Muffin Men. A good pop up here. PV has an opportunity if he can break it through. Selly not going to. But a comfortable three one lead here. Good touch there by Rob Blazin. It's not going to be fast enough to get past Selly though. Avoids a bump and maintains possession of the ball. Here comes Selly. Sneaks that one through on the near post and what a snipe of a touch. Got a little bit of assistance from the post, but what a reaction from Rob Lazen to avoid the bump or demo from Shelton. And then makes the most out of what didn't really seem like a big opportunity there. And so they get back on the board, 3-2 now the score as we close in on two minutes remaining here in game number one. Sully's gonna roll with the ball here. Can't get through Chilton. Had he done it, would have been a really interesting position. Because Muffin Man both dove on it, and Peavy is gonna get in there. Good transition play 
and it's all set up from Chilton being able to get that touch over Rob Blaze and a little bit of hesitation. And we saw what could happen if there's hesitation from the defensive end. We saw it in the last series between Ara and MM Kings. It, it, early on in the series, later on, there wasn't as much hesitation. But you take a moment to think about where that ball's going, and all it takes is that little split second for the ball to be over your head. Good capitalizing on the play from up in that. He's going to try and set up Chilton. Missed touch from Silly and from PV. Chilton going to try and control. But now Rob Blazing gets absolutely rocked. PV gets a touch. It's through one. Rob tries to get it clear. He's going to go for another shot. PV gets that one just far enough ahead. Give him the hat trick there. 128 remaining. And the Muffin Men are starting to run away in game number one. And it's really, they're not doing anything that is exceedingly impressive. They're making just smart plays. They're taking advantage of mistakes. And that's where they're really uh, scoring most of these goals. Capitalizing on overcommit, capitalizing on the hesitation, things like that. Just these little moments, these windows of opportunity. They're able to jump on them and find the back of the net. We almost saw another one there as Rob commits on the play. Don doesn't make contact. This one's going to pop up right in front of the net. Sell it. Chilton, good drop down to PV, but Rob Lazen takes control of that and sends it off to Selly. Selly's got control. Oh, goes for the musty, stays in the air, but gets knocked off the ball. PV and Chilton double commit wide open. Selly pulled a cookies. He pulled a cookies and missed the open net off the post. Oh, that's rough. 5-2 still the score, 45 seconds to go. Ooh, Selly almost made contact with it. That would have been a very uh, close play to an own goal. Good pace here from Selly to maintain possession. He's gonna try and head downfield, pulling off the one-man show. It's not gonna get the jump. Good pick up the boost and goes around the corner. Rob backflip feels bad on that one. Pass from Chilton off the back wall. PB diving in, not really sure what for, but now Chilton and PB seem to be playing a game of keep away for how long? Shot's gonna be into the corner. And now Chilton. Just gonna take control here. 10 seconds remaining. So with that, we're gonna say game one is locked down for sure. The Muffin Men take it in a pretty dominating start to the series. But game one, you never know what's gonna happen in the rest of the series. Plenty of time still, still to go in this best of five. The Muffin Men take it five to two. Let's take a look at the stat line. I mean, this yeah, the shot total is pretty balanced. Saves are even are even up and everything, but it really came down to, like I said in that match, Muffin Men capitalizing on mistakes, keeping things going, um, just seeing when there's these little glimmers uh, of open net, or you see, hey, there's this little moment of hesitation, jumping on that, not really giving them a chance to recover from it, and that's what led to so many open shots, open opportunities. So we'll see if that's something they can keep on doing here in game number two. Or are we going to see the Cheeky Blinders now that they got an opportunity? They got maybe these pregame jitters out. They got maybe it's the fact that uh, we had such a long break. Uh, you never know what some of these factors are. But hopefully they can bounce back and that's not the way you want to do it. And that was a beautiful pass from Sally. The pre-flip pass. Set up to perfection. Chilton sends it home. one nothing start. We're going to ignore that happen for a moment, other than the fact that it says 1-0 on the scoreboard. 10 seconds off the clock. And that was a play. <laughs> it was a good pre-flip touch from Selly. It just went the wrong way. Um, Selly trying to see if they can get the extra touch. Good demo, but it's going to leave an open net. Evie trying to get on target just ends up hitting the post and sets Selly. Goes around one. We see Rob going for the demo. Not going to get one, though. Takes 50 after 50. PB keeps the ball in this corner. That could go right back to PB. Big send off the back wall. Thinking double touch. Doesn't get it. Now Chilton goes in for it. Sends it back wall. He's going to send it back to PB. Bounce off the wall in a little bit of an awkward way. So they end up getting possession over. Big save by Chilton as this one goes off the back wall. Rob Blazin is going to try and keep possession, but Chilton just a little bit too fast there on the ball. Selly goes up with it. So does PV. PV's going to get the touch. Now here comes back the other way. Is Selly going to get in position? Tries to circle on back, but it's way too far across the net. 
misreads the bounce in the corner as well. So they're going to take control. What a challenge from PEV. Rockets that one off. Throw blazing off the sidewall. Just missed the touch by a couple inches. And now Sheldon takes this one way high there. Going to try and carry this one down. Keeps control all the way through, but he uses everything they have in the tank. Gets to Row Blazin. It's a race to the ball. Row Blazin can't get there first. So Evie is going to jump on that one. And we've seen this play a couple times now. The positioning, you see both players there over on the side of the blinders. In that side, uh, around that side, Blue's hovering around there. Just creates a really awkward situation. All it takes is one mistake. And we saw it. Miss there from Selly. Left the back end wide open. So two nothing now for the Muffin Men. Roblazen trying to set up Sully into the corner. Is Roblazen there? It's just a bit too fast for him, but it's going to be Evie off the back wall. Here comes Sully. Gets a touch of these to keep it in midfield. Roblazen dives in a bit too aggressively. Gets beat by Peavy. Wide open downfield yet again. And so Peavy capitalizes on another very aggressive move. Making it now three unanswered goals here to start off game number two. So three minutes to go. Chilton wins the kickoff, goes for the double touch, and sends it into the corner. It's a good play, good idea. Just a little bit of a mechanical slip there when it came to getting it on target. Selling. Gonna go for the double fake. Sand goes for the ball. Oh, that could have been play of the night. Addy uh, uh, connected on that goal. Now going back the other way. PV sends a big one downfield. So he's gonna try and get there before Chilton jumps up. Going into defense mode, shadowing the ball. Sully with it, takes this guy. Goes for a block. It almost looked like he wanted to set up a musty. Wasn't able to get it. Chilton with the ball off the side wall. Sully with it. Goes for the bounce shot. Doesn't really get much on it. PV just kind of playing. Damage control right now on the defensive end. Back down the other way. Roblazen can't get it around either of the Muffin men. Trying to get this one down to Sully. Sully's going to step up with it. To the air he goes. Doesn't get a very good launch though, so really can't do much with the ball. Jones into the corner, looks for a second touch. He's going to try and take it. Sally, what a save on the goal line. Keeping this one at a three goal game, but the defense might be standing tall. But the offense has to get going here on the side of the Tiki Blinders. Otherwise, they're going to find themselves going down 2 0 in the series. Into the middle of the field it goes. Roblazen is going to take that one and pick it up towards the corner. PB up with it. Tries to come down for an extra touch. Can't get it. Into the middle of the field. Roblazen waiting to see where Jones going with the ball. Good little joint. He's got one to beat. No boost, though. That's all he can do. PB reads it beautifully and is able to clear it off to the side. Now Jones trying to jump on it. Jones uses all he has to send it wide of the net. Still, he's going to pick up the ball. Pops that one up. It's there for Roblazen. Looks like a moment where they weren't sure who was going to take the ball. So now Chilton tries to drop that one behind. The bounce is in the corner. So it awkwardly bounces up there. PV is looking for it off the back wall. Good touch here by Red Blazer. Pops it up. It's going to follow up his touch. Sending it in the middle of the field. Going to get one more. Goes for the half volley shot. Going to be stopped right on the corner. Here comes Sully to challenge. But good control here from Chilton. Keeps that ball nice and close. Not really giving an opportunity to do anything. Bro, Blazin, big save, gets a second touch, so keeps him in dangerous territory. Sally following up to clear downfield, 30 seconds remaining. They've got to find one quick. The redirect opportunity is not going to happen there for Bro, Blazin. Now, PV heading down the other way. Looks going to get up here for Chilton. Chilton thinks about diving in, has a second thought about it, turns back. Now, keeping the ball around midfield, closing in on 15 seconds remaining. Are we going to see a goal, a quick opportunity to come back here for the Cheeky Blinders? It doesn't look like it. Sally can't get that one on target. PB with control. Chilton's going to help him out a little bit. Five seconds remaining. Here comes Chilton. Can't make contact. The road lays it to Sally. Can they get one for the road here for game number three? They will not. So the Muffin Men, the shutout here in game number two. They got 3 nothing, and they did a really good job of locking down the defensive end. Six saves for them on the seven shots from the Cheeky Blinders. And, you, I mean, you look at that, five of them coming from PV. The defense just doing a really good job. It seemed like once they got that 3 nothing lead, things just kind of settled in really nicely for them. Uh, we saw the Cheeky Blinders. The offense started to finally come together. Things were looking really good for them. 
but they just have to find a couple more opportunities. The big thing is limit some of those mistakes, things like the over aggressiveness, uh, the double committing or being in the same spot, kind of containing the same area, because that's where they're getting beat. It's not necessarily like they're getting beat from uh, the Muffin Men having these insane passing plays or the Muffin Men doing uh, really great solo work. They're having good plays, but it's there's little mistakes. We've been talking about it since game one. You overcommit. You both go for the ball. You double commit. You have <clears throat> positioning issues, things like that. Leaves open spots. That one, though, was just a beautiful shot from Peavy. Gets control, gets a great flick to get it through both defenders. A good launch. I don't think Sully was quite ready for that. You saw him on the near post, ready to maybe move up field, but the shot is just behind him. No momentum to try and get back there. And now it's the other way. Sully is going to try and sneak that one through, but I don't know if TV got contact with it. Follow up shot. Sully is going to try and redirect. Wide open the other way. Very aggressive play from Sally. Going for that redirect and then going for the challenge. Gives up an open net the other way. 2-0 very, very quickly here for the Muffin Man. They're looking to close this one out in game number three. Phoebe and Sally on the kickoff goes all the way back to Chilton. Sully's going to try and push that one. Good challenge there for Chilton. He wins both of them. Can he get through the defense? He does. PV shot. Just sneaks that in the near post. Three goals in over 30 seconds. Just over 30 seconds, that is. 33 off the clock. And that is just great resilience coming out from Chilton. Took on two 50s and manages to get enough pace out of that car to be able to push in uh push into the middle of the field and now looking for a fourth goal on the set you see pv sneak into the middle of the field follows up the touch off the back wall jonop gets the touch off the back wall it's going to be wide of the net though another one around the crossbar nothing coming from it Sally now looking to get their first goal since game number one gets a push takes the 50 can he drop it over to Roblazen? hits it around to the back wall but it's not going to lead to anything as Chilton flies on it he's able to make that stop Big send the other way. Goes to the bar down. Ski gets a little bit of help to set him up for that second touch. Chilton is going to send that one in. 4 nothing in just over a minute. And what a play by Chilton. Saw where it was headed. Saw it was going to drop down too. Was ready for it to either hit off the crossbar back at him or drop down the way it did. Great adjustment in the air to be able to keep that one on target. Big send by Chilton. It's going to be Red Blazing taking control of it. It's Chilton out of the play for a moment. Heads downfield with it. And that was not sure what happened there. And neither uh, do the Muffin Men. I don't know. If he tried to go for a flick. And it looks like almost like a ground pitch. Yeah, got a little bit of extra pace out of that ball. Evie was not ready for it. Gives it a little bit of a love tap to make sure it goes in. And so first goal of the game here for the Cheeky Blinders. So we'll see if they can maybe... Use that as a catalyst to get this offense going. And PV's going to try and shut that down. Cutting it off at its feet. A good pass there from Chilton. PV off the back wall. And they're really starting to get comfortable he, uh, reading off that back wall. Now we saw in the first match of the series, back wall was a huge player uh, early on in, the, in that series. This one is starting to really become prevalent, especially here in game number three. They've had a couple goals come from that back wall. Sally goes for the redirect. Or sorry, the double touch. It ends up hitting the crossbar, unfortunately. It was a great setup, good play. His mechanics are phenomenal, but just unable to send that one home. Roblazen did not expect that one to roll off the wall. And there it is again. Chilton big send. And we're at 6-1. So plenty of time to go. So you never know. Maybe the Muscle Men will become complacent. Maybe they'll be overcooked. From this big lead but it doesn't seem like it the way they're playing they are on fire Robles tries to get into the shot opportunity not to get that Sally backing off easy with the ball tries to play a little bit of mind game zero boost mind games that is nothing gonna happen on that one Sally up field it goes Just going full pace gets around the defense 
No boost spawning, so that puts him in a bit of a bad spot. Robles and sends this one back into the corner. He's got Shelton waiting in midfield. Big push the other way. It's going to be into the corner. Shelton can't get around Selly. It's going to be back the other corner. PV going to pick the ball up, see if he can get around Robles. And good challenge. He's going to be on target, maybe. Shelton picks that one up. Selly takes that 50. No boost here for Shelton, so he's doing everything he can to try and get the ball around. Good shot by Roblazen, and Peavy steps on in, gets the save there. Rushing back on the defense, and takes that 50. He's going to win it as well. Picks up the ball, takes to the air, and can he score it? Oh, Sally gets back for the save. That would have been a nutty play there for uh, Peavy, but unfortunately, he gets broken up on the final leg of that run. Roblazen loses control, but is able to keep the pressure on. So good push from him. Selly wait around here, see where the ball is heading. Makes a play on his back wall. Roblazen is going to take the shot. It's going to be wide of the net, though. Good look, good try. And now back the other way in transition. Six on the score. 130 remaining on the clock here. Will we get the Brazil? 7-1. Men are trying to find some opportunities, but we're starting to see this offense finally come to life here. Out of the cheeky blinders. Sully trying to pass it back to Robles and gets challenged by Chilton, who tries to set it on target, but ends up putting it more towards the corner instead. Robles back to the middle of the field. Here comes Chilton with the shot. She's going to capitalize on a mistake. Never put the ball in the middle of the field if the teammate is not there. It's a very risky play. Sully with control. He goes for the side flick. Will connect on that one. So any chance at a Brazil is thwarted. Very good shot there. And we've seen a lot of very good mechanical plays come out from Sally. He just hasn't been able to uh, get them into the back of the net. That is one of them who does find the back of the net. 6-2 now the score. Saying there's a chance there could be, but with a minute to go, four goals is quite a tall order. Uh, it's a goal every 15 seconds. Pass there to Roblazen. It's not going to happen that time. He's going to bump around with the Muffin Men. They both are on the ball. So here comes Sully. He's going to try and make quick work here. So there he goes. Has a lot of space to work with. And oh man. That was a commit from Roblazen and Sully. They try to see if they can muscle the ball in. But Chilton said no way. Not going to happen there. Sully with the ball on the side wall. Chilton. I even gonna give him an inch of room. No respect there on that play. It's gonna be chill now heading up field. Sully punishes him for waiting, taking his time. Roblace is taking to the skies. Trying to see if they can get one more goal here for the road. But the Muffin are gonna get the clean sweep this week. It's gonna be a final shot. Seventh goal here for the Muffin Men. And they finish that one out. A beautiful way, good, powerful shot. 70 miles an hour there by Chill, center of the net. Perfect placement. And they're going to find themselves moving up <clears throat> to 4-0 and here. As they head into week five of the, sea, the regular sea finale. So really, really good game there from the Muffin Men. And the big thing, like I said, all match long, just capitalizing on some mistakes, some small little errors here and there from things like just positioning, to double commits. Uh, or just missed touches. They made the most of every single opportunity, and that goes to show why they're four and zero heading into week number five here of season zero. So we're gonna take a short little break here, get things set for our final match of the night. We have one more two v two matchup. It is going to be yeah, no problem taking on the Dayton Flyers. Both teams two and one. It's going to be out of tier three. So make sure you stick around. We'll be back in about about five ish minutes. So make sure you stick around with us before our final match of the night. Yeah, no problem. And the Dayton Flyers. <laughs> 